Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to drop a column from a data frame. So first things first, let's import pandas. Shift enter, runs the cell and creates a new cell below it. And I'm going to call this data from data frame. I don't know. Consumption. And I'm going to load the data frame. And I have a different video where I explain how to load data. And this thing. All right, so I've loaded um, the data here. Shift Enter runs it. And I've, this loads the data because this data that I'm using is located inside the same folder that this notebook is located in. So it's easy to access the data. And just make sure the data is loaded correctly. As you can see, the data is loaded correctly. This is like the top. These are the columns for it. So I'm going to show you how to drop any column that you want. You can drop multiple columns or you can just drop one. So in this situation, I'm just going to drop the all beverages column. So to drop a column, what you do is you do consumption, which is the name of the data set is equal to consumption dot drop. And you can do something like columns equal to all beverages and you run the cell and I've run the cell one time already by doing control enter and this only happens this process only happens once so if you run the cell again like I'm about to do it will give you an error message saying that this column is not found so if I do shift enter as you can see, it gives us an error that says that this particular axis is not found because I run this twice. So I'm just letting you know upfront that once this process happens, you can't do it again. You have to run this cell only one time. If you run it two times, it will give you an error the second time. And just to confirm that this was done correctly, we could um, simply do consumption dot head as you can see the all beverages column is gone and I'm going to restart my kernel so because I don't like seeing this error here and I'm going to run everything again all right so that's one way to do it you could also drop multiple columns at a time and if you wanted to drop multiple columns at a time, you will have the column names in a list. So you, I could drop, so if I wanted to drop wine and spirits simultaneously, I could do consumption is equal to consumption dot drop. And in parentheses, you do something like columns equal to Let's let's create a list and let's call this wine and let's call this beer and let's run this cell shift enter run the cell and create a new cell and if we do consumption dot head as you can see the wine and spirits columns are gone. This is one way to drop a column. Another way to drop a column is using axis instead of columns and we could also do this let's um, just call this spirit and let's say axis equal to one so zero means row axis equal to zero means row which means drop the row card spirits, but we don't have a row card spirits right now. And one means columns. Axis equal to one means columns. 
So we are telling it to drop the column called spirit. And let's run this cell. And now let's do consumption.head. And right now we should only have year left if we did this correctly. As you can see, year is the only column left. So that's basically how you drop a column from a data set using pandas and in Visual Studio Code or IPython notebook. So you could drop multiple columns by putting the columns in a list. You could drop individual columns. You could specify the columns first. And then you could also um, use Axex to specify the columns. Another way you could do this is let's delete these cells. And I want to show you one last thing before I end this video. And now let me go ahead and restart my kernel. Restarting my kernel basically deletes everything I've done so far from memory. So it doesn't affect new things. So one thing you could do, you could do like, it could be like columns. It could be like, call. let's just call it called for clarification is equal to, let's create a list and let's call this year beer wine for example and then we could do consumption equal to consumption dot drop and it could be like columns equal to call and let's run this and now let's do consumption dot head and spirit should be the only one left as you can see spirit is the only column left so that's basically another way that you can drop columns from a data set. I hope you liked this video and I hope it provided you with value. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.